Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa, and I'm back out on the porch for Porch Time Story Time. And today I have a new book for you. Called, well, it's not new, but it might be new to you. Song and Dance Man is what it's called. And it is written by Karen Ackerman, and the pictures are by one of my favorite authors, Stephen Gamel. The Song and Dance Man. There he is. Here we go. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville stage. When we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV, back in the good old days, the song and dance days. Supper in an hour, said Grandma calling from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, said Grandpa, and he said it with a smile. And he turned on the light to the attic and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. Oh, look at all that. All this stuff in the attic. Faded posters of Grandpa when he was young hang on the walls. He moves some cardboard boxes and a rack of Grandma's winter dresses out of the way and we see a dusty brown leather trim trunk in the corner. As soon as Grandpa opens the trunk, the smell of cedar chips and old things saved fills the attic. Inside are his shoes with the silver half-moon taps on the heels and the toes. Bowler hats, top hats, and vests with stripes and matching bow ties. Box full of costumes. We try on the hats and pretend we're dancing on a vaudeville stage where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head along with the music. After wiping his shoes with a cloth that he calls a chamois, Grandpa puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside his shoes so the corns won't rub and he turns on the lamp and aims it down like a spotlight. He sprinkles a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit on one of Grandma's wooden blankets. We clap our hands, and we say, Yay, Grandpa! The song and dance man begins to dance an old, soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first, while his tap shoes make soft, slippery sounds like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's Grandpa dancing. And all we can hear is the silvery tap of two feet. And all we can see is a song and dance man gliding across the vaudeville stage. He says, watch this. And he does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly his shoes move faster and he begins to sing. His voice is as round and strong as a canyon echo. And his cheeks get rosy as he sings Yankee Doodle Boy, a song that he knows from the good old days. There are too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember, but this show is better than watching TV. The song and dance man stops and leads forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he asks, and he pulls a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. He rolls his bowler hat down his arm, catches it in his hand, and flips it back up upon his head. You know how to make an elephant float, he asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda, and three squirts of elephant. We've heard that joke before from that song and dance man, but he slaps his knee and laughs until everyone's eyes start to water. He tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest pocket, but the hanky just keeps getting longer and longer and longer as he pulls it out. He looks so surprised that we start laughing too, and it feels like the whole attic is shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard we get the hiccups, and Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink it slow and hold your breath, or I'll have to scare you to get rid of those hiccups. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk, and he lowers his eyes, and he tips his hat, and he is standing very, very still. 
All the lights are turned low, except one that shines on his polished tap shoes. This is the grand finale. So the song and dance man takes a deep breath. He lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly, he starts to tap, and his shoes move faster and faster and faster, and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. He spins and he jumps in the air and he touches the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out and the silk top hat and gold tip cane lie side by side at his feet. His shoes are still and the show is over. We stand up together and clap our hands. Hooray, hooray, more, more, more. But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head. He's out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes and he wraps them gently in the chamois cloth. He puts them back in the leather-trimmed trunk, carefully folds his vest, and lays the top hat and the cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. Grandpa holds on to the rail as we go down the steps, and at the bottom he hugs us and tell, excuse me, and we tell him that we wish we could have seen him dance in the good old days, when he was the song and dance days with the song and dance man. And he smiles and he whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days that he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up the stairs. And we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. The end. And that was the Song and Dance Man, and I'm Miss Lisa, and I will see you next time for more Porch Time Story Time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Push the button.